Welcome along to what is part two of the Legendary Drivers GP event. And hopefully you have enjoyed our part one so far, which has seen us put in a great first part of this round. Now, we'll quickly show you what we're running. It's exactly the same. Hamilton, Verstappen, Fives, and also this car setup too. So spoiler alert coming right up. We're about to show you how we've got on so far. If you have not watched the previous part one video, go and watch it now before I go and show you. So here is a spoiler for those watched already. Part two video, we are on race five. After four races, we have scored 184 points. We have dropped four points so far, and we're actually unlucky in Spain because of a safety car. Definitely cost us one point at least i would say so could have been even a little bit better race five is belgium now we've got to hope for the rain we've got to hope for a very good start if this is dry do not expect me to score 47 points i don't expect to score 47 points anyway but this is where i could take a big drop or a big gain let's see 46 points yesterday the look is matchmaking and the weather so it looks like it is a bot because the uh, matchmaking went that long that he got to the section where a bot is distributed to us. So the bot is not in our favour. However, is a little bit of changing conditions going to be in our favour? It is a wet qualifying for race number five. Where are we going to start though? Not too bad. 9-11, 10-14. Oh, that's bad for Hamilton. It is rain for three minutes, 50, a dry spell, and then rain again. That's interesting, and heavy rain at that too. So, what are we going to do? Copper for Hamilton. I might use a timeless boost here. I might use timeless on both. This is our biggest, biggest attempt. Come on, please, get a good start. We need the look here. We need the look. We often get a bad start from the start here. We're going to get fast. It is a bit of a rough start. Hamilton, come on, get the burner on. Finally, he's out. He's out. Come on, get ahead. P10, P13. Not great. Oh, this is going to be so tough. Rivals pushing, so that means it's a, it is a real rival. They are pushing early on. So we're going to push as well. We're going to try and get past Sainz, which we do. We're going to try and get past the rival. I'm going to use all of Verstappen on this first stint of power unit. Come on, get past Russell. Inside line. Yes, come on. What about Perez? Come on, inside line again. Yes, come on. P7, P12. Moving on up. Moving on up. And this real player who's not using boosts, interestingly. We're going to try then and boost our head again. Hamilton's P11 now. Remember, everyone pits on lap three at this circuit in the wet we're going to conserve down and attack again luckily only the mercedes has gone massive out front we're going to try and push past alonso take the inside line here we'll get him yes come on now we're on the rival we're using a lot of power unit but this is why we're getting through the field p4 how about chuck norris yes come on P4, we've used a lot of tyres. I don't, I don't care. We are pushing. Bring it to me. Get past Leclerc. Come on. And now we've got to cut down. P9 for Hamilton. We've got to watch them tyres, though. We're going to save his power unit, I feel. We might try and make a move, actually, through here. I feel like we could push a little bit more. Come on, P7. Oh, I just can't get past Alonso. P2 Verstappen. See if we can get past him. Is there a move? There was, but he can't get through. It's going to cut back down. Hamilton's P7. P8 now, just blocking around there. And we've got just enough to get into the pits. So in we come. Everybody filters in. This could be okay for Hamilton. He's not going to double stack, I don't think. Or he might actually. Oh, he's not just going to. It's perfect. Everyone's going to be double stacking. Where are we coming out? P7. Yes, that will do. 
That will do. We're just going to slowly catch the rivals up out front. We're going to push early on Hamilton. There is the rivals. Let's push now, try and gain that back. Good move by Hamilton up to P6. And now Verstappen is pushing, rivals pushing too. So I thought this was a bot, but it is generally not a bot. Now Hamilton's up to P5, and he's flying. Now we've got to gain a bit of power unit back. If we can take P2, that would be epic. Oh, what a bad... What are you doing, Max? Why have you just absolutely took the worst line possible? Why would you even do that? So, this is going to be tough. Rival's still pushing. Where do we push? Do we just go last lap? Rival's just got ahead of the Red Bull. I can't believe you took a bad line into that last corner. That is suicidal. P3. And now we close the gap even more. Rival's pushing again. Don't take a bad line, please. Get a good exit. He's got a decent enough exit. Is he going to make a move on the rival? Yes, he is. Is he going to get P1? Yes, he is. And we're up to P4. What a move by Max Verstappen. And we are away down the straight with power unit. Okay. Tyres, okay as well. Can we catch even further? We're right behind the rival who's struggling to get past. Now we push. We have the power unit. Hamilton against Alonso rival. Can he get through? Yes, he can. Can he get P2 as well? Yes, he can. Come on. We're through into P1, P2 at Spa. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Verstappen takes P1. Hamilton, P2. 47 points at Spa. Come on. What a race. Come on. <sighs> Duty. This, I tell you what, you do not get that excited when you make payments on this game and you have pressure on yourself. When you have no pressure on yourself because you haven't spent a dollar, the excitement is there. Come on. What a race at Spa. Level six, level five for the rival. No boost used by the rival, remember. 129, 198. Come on. What a beauty. Here we go then. Race number six, Silverstone. So slightly match up in their favour. Did spin round until the bot section. So I am expecting it to be a bot, but we'll find out. Oh, my adrenaline is still pumping from that last race there in Spa. What a race. And where do we qualify? It's OK. It's P10, P12 for Stappen and Hamilton. We have got a wet start, 2 minutes and 27 seconds. So we are going to go on to a bit of Kawhi. We're going to hope. We're going to dream. Dream of some good points. Come on. So this race could go dry. Could be in our favour, this could. Now, it did spin round for a bot, and it does look like it is a bot. As we go to the parking lot of what is Silverstone and many first corners on F1 Clash, we get away okay. We've not made massive grounds. For Stafford, you can just see going round the outside, down the straight we go. Nice lunge past the rival would be very nice here. And it is. It is in to P8 and P12. So remember, there's a four-lap stop for everybody here. Now, the question is... Do we go lap three, do the undercut, because we know that it's probably going to be soft tyres in this race. Now, we've got a bit of tyres left on Hamilton. I'm going to try and get past him Sainz like that. If we can get another move, that would be great. But if not, don't worry. One minute 45. That is, I reckon this will be dry at the end. Do I risk it? It could be huge to risk it. That's my problem. I think I'm going to have to risk it. We get a great acceleration off that corner. We're going to move ahead of Perez into P6. It is going to start drying out when the pit stops start happening. So I think we could do undercut onto some dry, well, wet tyres, sorry, as the rival tries to come past. We're bang on. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to just go for it here. 
as we get Madrid with a subscribe. Appreciate it. You're in the video. Welcome. We're going to risk it. We're going to hope for the best. We've got a quick pit stop as well because we are using that Kawhi boost. So it's not the end of the world. We can do 3-4 anyway as we move up to P4. 52 seconds though. So you're going to get around a lap and then they all pit for wet and it will start to dry. But is it going to be good enough? We've got to pit because our tyres aren't the best at 25%. So we're going to pit with Hamilton. He can still do 3-4 anyway. That's no problem. Verstappen's going to push. Can he push past the rival? Yes, he can. We're going to just risk this. Why not? In the form that we're in, why not? Verstappen's up to P4. There is Hamilton, who's come out in P10. We're going to use a bit of power unit here just to try and make some early positions. Can we get past George Russell round the outside? No, we can't. No, we can't. So I did say when we pit, it's going to start drying out. And you can see right now at the top of your screen above my head what it is starting to dry. 98. The question is, how much does it dry? Well, we'll find out. But Hamilton carries on round. We're pushing him a little bit too much here. But he's up into P3. Verstappen is in P4. So he's got the advantage here. Now, do we make a pit stop? Do we not? At the point in this race where it goes dry, I don't know. Hopefully Hamilton can squeeze through and we can try and put some pressure on because he has got, member Kawhi boost on too. Don't think this is going to go dry. I'm going to try and get Verstappen in the lead and then hold him up. Here is Verstappen on Hamilton. And I tell you what, we are not far away with Hamilton who's got just slightly okay tyres actually at this point. We're into P2. You can see Hamilton is just coming with us now. We are going to push him down the straight. We've got to just make any move we can. And P3 is a perfect move. So we're into P3. Here is Verstappen. On Verstappen, we are through. Now we're going to conserve and try and hold him up. Hamilton in P3. It is drying out. It's not drying out enough to be able to pit for some dry tyres, though. Question is, can we get... Hamilton, which look at this, we're holding him up all we can to bring in Lewis Hamilton closer. Now we'll push him out of this corner. We've held him up as best as we can. Now we'll push off with Verstappen. Can we get past into P2? Come on, big move. Come on. P2, P1. Can we do it again? This would be an absolute brilliant round of racing if we have just managed to secure 47 points here. Tyres are looking rough, very rough. We're going to conserve everything we've got here as we're down to 3%. We're going to push off the... Come on! To the line! Come on! 47 points. Oh, yes! What? What racing? That is everything we needed. Two lots. Of 47 points. Let's go. 1502 versus 1513. Level fives across the board. A pretty decent car as well. We are on our way, ladies and gentlemen, to a very good score. There's two races to go. It could all change though from here. Here we go. Race seven. Good matchup as well. Real player. So you never know what's going to happen, but we're off to Netherlands and Zanvoort, a good place for scoring points again. Now, yesterday, pretty much apart from Spa, the final three races, we scored 47 points in every single one of them. So if we can do the same again and in the next race, we will score a massive 372 points. That is unbelievable for me. I am would be buzzing, buzzing with that. So. Here we go. It is wet in Zandvoort. Now I'm going to use a timeless boost. I don't necessarily need to, but I feel like it's going to be beneficial. I am also going to use a copper. We need to bring this home. We've got to bring it home. P14, P18 for the rival. We are in P8 and P11. Perfect starts needed. Perfect starts got. Bad start from Hamilton, though. It's not great, but he puts on the afterburn around the outside. 
and he is up to P9. So P4 for Verstappen, P9 for Hamilton. That's, that's OK, because we can conserve through this section all the time and then we can push. Verstappen's up to P3 now. Hamilton trying to come through past Norris and he's up into P8. So good, good start. There is Verstappen into P2. Can he take P1? He can't. What about Hamilton? P7. Now the rivals or the AI are going to do five laps here. They're going to do a 5-2 as Verstappen takes the lead. Come on, Max. You know how to win races, don't you, boy? Come on. Hamilton P7. And obviously, if you're enjoying these racing, hit that like button because it has been great so far. And we're attacking strongly with Hamilton into P6. Buzzing, 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 buzzing. P6. Now we've got to push past Science. Good power unit. We're OK here. We've got Science ahead of us. We're going to try and push just into these corners and we're into P5. So cut back down again. Now, we could take an early pit stop. I'll probably do it next lap and do a 4-3 comfortable. Reason being, I don't want to get hurt by a safety car as Hamilton moves into P number four. So we're going to do a full lap now with Verstappen at full boost. I can't really do five laps here with Hamilton. So I'm going to have to just save some power unit for an attack after he comes out. Hopefully he'll come out in decent enough air. We'll cut down here. We'll cut down for Hamilton as well. And it's looking okay. Verstappen's pushing. We're going to push Hamilton as well because any second that we can get over the field could bring us out in some nice clean air. Verstappen already. This was a real player as well, obviously. So ballast boost they're using. They're pitted early on one car. And Verstappen is in. Going to be a uh, double stack here. Oh, I didn't want that. That's not great by me not in the circumstances we've got because Hamilton is going to get slowed down but he might come out in some decent clean air if he can get past Ocon here that's not too bad you know he's in clean air the question is is he going to jump into P2 from doing the undercut these will all pit shortly and they'll get out of the way but will they get out away enough is the question we're going to just save power unit as we go into the corner we take Kevin Thank you very much, Kevin. And we're into P11. Verstappen regains the lead after the pit stops because they're underway. There is P2. And we are in to P2. They'll come back at us because of the pit exit. But it's looking good again in Zanvoort. We've used that timeless boost. We've made sure we're going to put in our best possible round. It will really rely on the very last race. Matchmaking will be either amazing or it will be cruel in Bahrain and it could make or break our best round scoring. One lap to go here in Zandvoort. Verstappen leading the way. Hamilton in P2. That is what we like to see. Oh, what a round so far. We are smashing it. Potentially one, maybe one, maybe one GP if we went by last year until the new season is out. But Max Verstappen is going to come home and he's going to take victory. That is exactly what he needed. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton ripping up this final round. 47 points. Rival with a good race as well for them. So they come home in P6 and P9. And they only use the ballast boost as well, taking 35 points with a 1427 team score. So level one fitter powdy and level eight rare Hamilton and a OK car setup too. That leaves one race to go. Bahrain. The finale is up next. It's looking good for race number eight we've got the same player we did wait a little bit actually but seems like that player waited too we're off to bahrain for the finale we are on course for our best ever result in a final round on the free to play account not going to be good enough for a top 10 four point drop so far is too much as it is but let's bring it home you never know what's going to happen in this race verstappen p9 hamilton p10 
So I'm going to go on to Movember with Hamilton. Now, it's going to be 3-3-2 free, free, with Verstappen. He's going to go on to Kawhi. Kawhi not bring home the points as we go final round hunting. 47, come on, please. Don't stop me now. I'm having a good time. Verstappen gets a perfect start. Hamilton doesn't, and we kind of absolutely block down. But we get away on the second phase okay. Now, into the first corner we go. Hamilton's had a little bit of a mare. He's dropped back to P10. Rivals going on the softs. And at the minute, Verstappen has moved himself up to P5. Make that P4. And not quite P3. He is now P3. So, P3. Hamilton trying to battle through. Rivals gone double softs, which is interesting. So, we are not in a great shape at present. But we have took Movember for a little bit of a tyre boost. Now, we're all over the back of Charles Leclerc. Rivals pushed hard on them soft tyres, and they are going to come through, but that's OK. We are going to just push and keep Perez behind us, though. Well, yeah, we tried. Didn't work. Perez on the soft tyres. Perez is on the soft tyres. We're going to just push one more time, see if we can just make back that position. Well, I don't think we are, so we're just going to keep this going along. We are going to take this position. So P9 will gain some power unit back now. This might have to come in the later stages of this race. Verstappen P2 just sat behind the Mercedes of Hamilton. And now into the lead he goes. Where is Hamilton? He's closing in on Leclerc. Rivals doing a two. Pits on lap two then. Perez is probably going to come past us again. We lag a little bit. We keep hold of this position though. We are lagging a lot here. Do not disconnect me now, Hutch. Please. Do not disconnect me now. We're closing on Leclerc and the Red Bull. Rivals out front, leading home his cars. We are leading the field, though. P7, we've used a lot of power unit and tyres here, as much as I would probably have liked, as Verstappen is now in. So Verstappen's in. Pit stops. Go ahead for the rival, too. We've got OK tyres. Here comes Leclerc again. We're going to push early. Let's see if we can get past Verstappen here. P4. This is going to be tough for 30, 47 points, I feel. We're going to just try and close again on these cars ahead. Can we sneak a position? Yes, we can. P3. Thank you. Rivals overtook us. We've been a bit slack with our power unit, though, to be fair. Oh, now we're held back. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on here? And this is going to be interesting what happens. I don't think we're going to score 47 here. I think this rival's in a great place with this Kawhi boost soft tyre run to really put the pressure on. We're back out, though, in P8. P7 is even better. And now we're ahead into P3. Make it nearly P2. And we're going to go into P2. We've got to just... Oh, the rival's coming back past us again. What do we do here? We haven't got enough power unit to be able to attack massively that is our problem we've got a chance of coming out ahead of the rival there's a mercedes currently in the pits and then will we get ahead of the mercedes we won't but that's our benchmark to know where we need to be that mercedes is on medium tires we're going to push through this section and keep this gap as close as possible and give us every single chance of scoring the points pressure is on I would even take, I mean, we've had a great round either way. Either way here. So I've just got to keep the pressure. Keep doing what we're doing. We're not that far behind the rival. So we could jump them. We need to jump Hamilton, though, first of all. Verstappen's coming back out. We move ourselves up, but rival is on the soft tyres. So that is going to be killer. That is could be absolutely crucial to our round. We need to get past Hamilton. ASAP, though, and look after the power unit as we move into P1 and P2. Rival's got good power unit, but they're going to use a lot of that to attack us. The question is, can we hold on to P1 and P2 and round this final round out with a perfect score in terms of part two of this video? We're pushing as hard as we can with Hamilton. Rival's got a bit of power unit left as well, though, so that's going to come into play. He's still got to get past, though, the Mercedes. We've got 12% power unit. 
And they're closing all the time. I think he's just squeaked ahead. He hasn't. That's crucial. He hasn't got ahead. Trying to gain as much power unit. Now he's in P3. He's coming, but I don't know if he's coming quick enough. We're in P2. He's chasing hard. We've got 10% tyres as we come round the final corners. Max Verstappen takes the win. Lewis Hamilton is going to take P2. Come on. And you know what that means. You know what that means. We have done it in this part two video. Forty-seven points. Great race by the rival. Really gave us a great race there as well. Outperforming that team score, you would have to admit completely. One five oh two versus one four two seven. Fittipaldi Hamilton. <sighs> wow. You can't pay for this, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe a bit of Botox will actually. Oh. Check this out. We are not going to stay there. But what a round. Bias on the free to play. 372 in Champions GP amongst everything that is 10% boosted as well. There's so many drivers boosted and we have put in a fantastic round. It is not going to be good enough for a top 10 finish. However, it's a round I am not going to forget in a hurry. Yesterday, we laid the foundations. We scored 369 points. Today, we scored 372 points. And arguably in Spain, with an unlucky safety car, we are robbed of potentially maybe one more point. But uh, we even had a bad matchup in race number one, where we managed to steal and split the points 45-45. That is a fantastic round. It might still only be good enough for like top 25, but 372 on an account which is free to play, no spending, I am here to show you that if you put your mind to it and you learn and you keep determined and motivated, you can score anything. But come back tomorrow, rewards time. Where do we finish? Come along, let's find out together.